Hello friends, I am going to turn on my computer this morning, but my computer is not turning on. So I thought I would share this video with you, that my computer is not running. The reason for sharing is that you may have this problem at any time. Let's take out the CPU cabinet and see if there is any problem with the computer. First I will unplug the power cable and then remove the cabinet cover. First you need to check the power cable or change the power cable in the house. Solve if there is a power cable problem. Then there may be a problem with the power supply or there may be a problem with the motherboard. If the green light on your motherboard is on, then your motherboard line is coming and your motherboard is okay. You need to see if there is a problem with the power supply or the motherboard. First I will check the power supply. I already have a power supply in my house so I will check if there is a problem with the power supply. Let's see if my board or power supply which is better motherboard or power supply see how to check the board with power supply. To check the power supply, I will first open the connections of the power supply wires attached to the board. First I will open the 4-pin plug and socket connector. Then I will open the 24-pin ATX power connector from the motherboard. Then I will check with the new power supply. I will not put the whole power supply first. I will check if my computer is running with the new power supply. First I will connect 24-pin ATX power connector with motherboard. Then I will connect the 4-pin plug and socket connector to the motherboard. 4-pin plug and 24-pin power connector. After connecting the two connections to the motherboard, now connect your power cable to the power supply. Then after making all the connections, press the CPU power button and turn on the computer. To see if it is turned on, yes my CPU fan is spinning and my computer display is on. That means I had a power supply problem. From this it is understood that my board is in perfect condition note the point before you. See if your computer is not turned on and the power supply fan is on, then think that your power supply is okay, but there may be a problem with the motherboard or RAM, check it once. Or take it to the nearest computer repair shop or show that everything will be fine. I will open the power supply that has gone bad and install a new power supply. Then I will open all the connections slowly and the bad power supply will be opened in a good way. I will install the new power supply properly. See how I set the power supply. After installing the power supply, then the power supply wire connections need to be properly connected to the motherboard and hard disk. Keep following me how do I make connections if you make the wrong connection without seeing, but the computer will not turn on so follow me. First I will attach the 24-pin ATX power connector to the motherboard and attach it properly. Then I need to attach the 4-pin plug and socket connector to the motherboard properly. Then plug the SATA power cable of the hard disk into the hard drive and follow me on how I put the SATA power cable. Then plug the SATA power cable into the DVD writer that's the way I put the SATA power cable in the hard disk. And be sure to check that the SATA cable is properly connected to the hard drive and the DVD writer is properly installed. Then after making all the connections just like that fit the cabinet cover properly. After setting everything right, start the computer by turning on the power button. You can also fix the computer in this way very easily I will bring more videos on my channel with various computer problems. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any 
Doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. So if you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.